I want to talk today about the stories you tell yourself and that you tell others about yourself because those stories are incredibly powerful and they're not just powerful in the way we talked about how earlier about sales that stories sell and facts tell. They're powerful in the effect that they have on you. They can be empowering or they can be disempowering. They can be stories that you've created or they can be stories that you're telling that somebody else told about you. And some of those stories we're not even aware that we're talking about. We're not even aware of the impact that it has on us. And I want to share with you some insights about that in the next few minutes. Hi, it's Lorna Rasmussen speaking to you from Costa Rica. And here's what I learned as I started to become conscious of the stories that I was telling. The first story that I used to tell about myself, and I thought it was a great story. It was a very powerful story from the perspective that it really showed the power of leveraged income. I've told it here on, on my blog a couple of times in a variety of ways. But as I was telling that story over and over again, about the, when my house burned down and I was able to in, take two years off to get all the work done on my house, came back and my income was the same and it actually had gone up during that time. Great story. However, as I told it over and over again, I began to realize it was having a very negative effect on me, the teller of the story, that every time I told that story, I went back into that feeling about of helplessness and disappointment and fear that that story evoked in me. And then I remembered a friend of mine had told me years ago that she never talked about being a cancer survivor. I had found it out accidentally. And I said, that's interesting. Why do you never speak of it? She said, I don't talk about being a cancer survivor because I don't want my body to do that again. So it really is understanding that the stories you tell about yourself, just as the stories that you tell about other people, have that kind of an impact. They can either bring people up or bring people down. They can bring you up or they can bring you down. Another story that I started telling about myself that was an introduction, and I think is an example of a story that, that really um, inspires people. And that story goes something along the lines that at 48, I was about to lose everything. And I was introduced to direct selling. And within the next 10 years, I had earned over a million dollars and I had set myself up to retire when I didn't think retirement was ever going to be in my in the picture of my life. A powerful story for me, it lifted me up, a powerful story for the people I was talking to, it inspired them. And that's the difference. And I want you now in this next little while to pay attention to the stories that you're telling. And we're gonna give you some ideas about how to write powerful stories. The most important thing is to pay attention to the stories that somebody else has written about you. And I'll give you an example of that too. My sister and I are twins. My mother tells a story of me on a motorcycle with my sister, a little Vespa motor scooter, I should say. And I would be driving and very serious and I'm, you know, going through traffic, so I'm paying attention. And my sister is sitting on the back, just looking around and enjoying herself. And that image of the two of us, I think really cemented a relationship and the way we went forward in the world in a way that may or may not have been good for both of us. So pay attention to those stories. We'll teach you how to write good stories. And we hope that you're gonna write a story that makes you just feel like you control the world.